student's success involves more than just studying a lot. Health, both physical and mental, affects how teens learn. Support from parents is very important and can help teens deal with stress and anxiety. Studies show actually that if you want your child to do well at math, you really have to think about the overall mental health and wellness of your child. And if you were to make one single difference, the most powerful thing you could do to help your child with any sort of anxiety and help them feel most secure is spend close one-on-one -on -one time with your child. If you have a child that feels that they are accepted for whoever they are and they can turn to you, that type of a child will be more resilient and will do better in math in addition to other subjects. Um, me and my parents have a really good relationship and we tend to talk about like if I have a test, if I'm stressed out about it, I'll just like talk to them about what like the test is on just to help my brain think. Like even if they have no clue what I'm talking about, they'll just sit there and listen to me, which helps me a lot. Other strategies which are important include thinking about what are all the things which our brain needs for healthy development. The average North American teenager only gets about seven, seven and a half hours of sleep if they're lucky. What our kids need is usually at least eight and a half to ten hours of sleep. Simple things like limiting the technology, getting enough sleep are part of it. Another important strategy is making sure that they get enough time in nature. For mental health and physical health, we should ideally have at least one to one and a half hours outside every day for children. Another strategy that I think is also very important for brain development and which directly helps math as well is ensuring that your children have exposure to music. Studies show that children who do music training do better in math. Being physically and mentally healthy helps teens be resilient and better at coping with daily stress and anxiety. For example, the kind of anxiety some teens experience when they are learning math. I feel like so many people get anxious from math because like, they realize how important it is and how like, it applies to a bunch of other fields and how like, it's used in most of the careers. So it makes people pretty anxious. Math anxiety is a very interesting phenomenon. Every time I'm asked what I do for a living and I say I'm a math teacher, almost inevitably you get that response. I was never good at math or I hate math or my first teacher was a math teacher. You rarely get it with any other situation. So as parents, we just need to change our messaging. We just need to be positive with, with our children. We need to start talking about perseverance, about growing our brains. We need to talk about, that's great that you made a mistake. That's how we learn. Let's look at that a little bit. Let's investigate that. And, and as parents start to do that, children's anxiety will absolutely decrease. And then they'll start to feel good about math. And then the more they have that efficacy around math, they'll build their fluency in math and then come to realize that math is like any other subject. And it's everywhere in the world. And me, as a student, I can be good at math as well. The way you can help your teen to cope with stress, first of all, is for you to be a model when you're living through a stressful situation. How do you cope with it? Do you sit down, talk to somebody about it, read a book, listen to music, cook? Or do you start screaming at people? Your teen is really looking at you without knowing to see what are ways to cope with stress. It's important to sit with your teen as well and to teach them those ways, to talk about it. And when I say talk about it, I don't mean talk to your teen, but talk with your teen. Listen to what they're saying, even though you want to jump in and do it for them and answer all their questions, guide them to finding their own answers.